Imagine if leadership and development was a uniting factor for people towards a certain achievement. When people set aside their political differences and affront a cause that will benefit everyone. What does the Omutu Wawansi see as development in it? Boza mei achiega. Tauni kiraka achiega. Who is the problem now? That is politics. Join us every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. as we discuss matters in Tebe, the first Uganda's colonial capital, and what it deserves. Well, thank you very much for joining us once again on this special episode this beautiful Saturday morning. And I am coming to you from Chadwick Namate Primary School here in Entebbe Municipality Works District. On a sad note, of course, we continue to mourn the fallen Queen of England, uh, Queen Elizabeth II. We really continue to send condolences to the royal family and also pray that may God make you go through this. And uh, this beautiful morning, of course, we pick on a topic which is so trending, so interesting. The reopening of third term of the year here in Uganda. Different schools, different stories coming in. Of course, many of the schools having to increase school fees. Some of them reaching to a point where they ask learners to even contribute to the head teacher's uh, fuel can. Among other things trending, and this is what we'll be looking at. The hashtag is, of course, in TV today. Go on Twitter, Facebook comment on what you think we should respond to but also go to youtube where you see the bell button just click on it subscribe comment share with your friends and see what we should really look at next time if you want us to take a particular direction of a topic this is a beautiful morning i'll joined by very many people i have my colleague joanna kelo she will be coming to our joining us from uh, lake victoria the District Education Officer for Entebbe Municipality will also be joining us and the Honorary Member of Parliament in as far as how we'll be looking at this diverse topic here. Shortly, I'll also be speaking to the head teacher of uh, this beautiful school, just like you can see behind me, this is Chadwick Namate, and I will be joined by the head teacher to also talk to us. How are they coping up with the... Uh, uh, school fees vis-a-vis -vis the raising uh, prices on commodities. What are they doing? Some schools, we understand, have had to, you know, reduce onto the menu. The menu has been a bit edited. But we'll be looking at more of this when we get to that time there. This beautiful time, I want to let the microphone go to Lake Victoria where my colleague John Akello is right on standby to just talk to us and give us an insight of what the preparations are like. And John Akello, can you pick it away from me and tell us what is happening? That Thank you, Ivan. Good morning and good morning to our viewers. And uh, on a sad note, we are starting this episode uh, with the news of the passing of Queen uh, Elizabeth II. Uh, she's, she reigned for 70 years. Very many, those are many, those are seven decades. And uh, this morning we are at uh, Lake Victoria Primary School and very, it's a historical school because it is named after Queen Victoria who was a great great grandmother to the, this, this monarch who has died to Queen uh, Elizabeth and of course many things are happening but uh, in this episode we have the head teacher of this historical school uh, Lake Victoria Primary School Mr. Nabende Steven. Uh, good morning sir. Good morning. Yes. You have you are you you are made, you you manage a school that has a lot of history. Okay. 1912. Those are 110 years. Yes. Give us a brief. How many learners do you have? How many teachers? And just a bit of what the school is all about. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm by the name Navende Steven, the head teacher at Lake Vic School in Tebe. This school is very very historical because it was started by the colonial government in 1912. At that time, we had two campuses. The campus you see up right here was called Entebbe European School. That was only educating the European children. Then, after the field, we had Entebbe Common School. So Entebbe Common School was teaching only black children who had big portfolios in the colonial government. Okay. 
not any black could go there. Is it that these were children of uh, staff at State House? Okay, the governor's office. That exactly. Okay. Those who are holding uh, posh positions in the colonial government mm -hmm. are the ones who could qualify to have their children come and study at Entebbe Common School. Okay. Now, after independence, there was that element of apathy being fought. Mm. Maybe I would also tell you how they used to mix up. Much as we had two campuses, yes. Entebbe Common School and Entebbe European School, mm. now the Europeans had to divide the two schools by the playground. Mm. Uh, yes. So the European children would have their physical education during, during morning time because they would fear sunshine. And then those at uh, Entebbe Common School, the blacks would also come to play in the afternoon because they were used to the hot sun. sun yes. yes. The, 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 it's the local environment, it's their normal environment. So but did they ever mix? They couldn't. Okay. It's only the field which would, would, which would make them not even mix, mm. but it's, all, it's only the, it's all, it, the shared property. Yeah, the only facility. But they never met. Exactly. So the things changed 60 years ago when we had got independence yes, as Uganda. Yes, yes. Now, after independence, now the two schools had to merge and come one. Mm, okay. So since we were near the lake, and it was during the reign of, lake, uh, of Victoria, so the officials decided to, to rename the school to uh, campus the two to form one school, and that's how it came up with the name Lake Victoria School, because we are near the lake, and it was during the reign of uh, Queen Victoria. Okay, Queen Victoria had long gone, <laughs> she had died in 1901, but I think because it's near the lake and the lake had been named after her, I think they saw the proximity and they said let it be Lake Victoria Hot Primary School, just like Lake Victoria Hotel. But now, how is the situation, the economic, the, the economy is not, people are crying, parents are crying. How is it? How many learners do you have at the moment? And the schools have reopened for third term. Second term was a challenge. How has it been? Uh, this one week of reopening of the school. Yes, we need to appreciate that the economy is usually very bad. Uh, we have a population of 741 children. But I would like to thank the parents that out of all the hardships, they have managed to bring back their children. As you can see them, it is already now and already having uh, as management we decided not to increase the fees due to the following reasons one most of our parents are salary earners and their salaries were not increased two we also have parents who lost jobs whereby again if if you increased it would cause a dropout of their children and yet want them to come and attend education. So what we have done now as management, we have tried to review the budget and focus on only the essential items that can make the school run. What are the essentials? The essentials would include lunch. Okay. So our children must have lunch. Two, to have enough learning and teaching materials. And then three, to have enough money to cater for the utility bills like electricity and water. Because here, when you see, our school has only waterborne toilets. So there's no way you can do without water. So those are the basic essential elements that we have considered to budget for. So how much, does, uh, how much do you charge per, per, per learner? You know, do you separate upper and lower primary or it's the same, the, the, you, the school fees or whatever you charge? This, the structure is uniform. Yeah. We charge each learner 185,000 shillings per term. That includes lunch? Everything. Lunch, utility bills, and then school materials. That's the money we have, we have maintained since last year up to today. Have you had some parents come with, let's say, I have a sack of uh, maize flour, I have a sack of this because I cannot pay 180,000, but uh, I, I want to do better trade. Have they tried to, do, to bring some things in kind? Yeah, sure. We have uh, parents who have managed to bring us firewood. We have also parents who lost their jobs and uh, they stay in the Capturra. They normally supply us with the onions and the Irish potatoes. Then we balance it off from here in terms of school fees. Okay. Yes. Uh, so they, they can pay what they can, but what you value what they have sent you in kind. Okay. Talked about not burdening parents. 
and uh, you know you've you maintained the school fees at 185,000. But how are you doing it when we know the cost of food items has gone up? How what adjustments have you have you made any adjustments in terms of the menu? Just how are you how are you coping with this? Yeah, as I said earlier, mm. management decided not to make any further increment, but to maintain the fee structure. So we have only looked at how to go through with essential elements, and one of which is food. Our core values here for, in terms of feeding, we feed our children on posho and beans with some greens. And that's the standard we have, we have maintained, and I want to assure you we shall maintain it. What, what, do you give anything for the lower primary? Is there anything at break time? Yes, the lower primary, during break time, we give them porridge, and also lunch, they also feed with us, portion and beans before they go back home. Mm. That was an arrangement by the parents, because some of them pick their children late in the evening. So even P1 can eat lunch? Okay. I know of certain schools where they have a separate arrangement. You pay school fees and you pay feeding fees, because some parents have said, no, 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 I can pack for my child lunch. Is that an option as well, or the parents here are cooperative? I would like to uh, thank our parents. They are very, very cooperative. To us here, our feeding, our feeding program is at 100%. All children get lunch at school. Yeah. How, how much are you giving the children? Are you giving them the three spoons of beans? The, I don't know how many. <laughs> Have you reduced the quant quantity? In any case, we have just added the quantity. Are you frying the beans? Are you? Mm. Uh, no, now by standards we no longer fry, but we just add, add on some some ingredients to make the soup thick. So we put some onions. some tomatoes, onions, like that. Bidinganya, yes. So 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 the quantity has increased. It has increased. How? When the when other schools are reducing? Well, I I don't know their budgeting process. But ours, it has really been very good. Management has really guided. And as you can see, all of them are having food right now. Is, is it that you have a supplier who did not increase prices or what? How much were you spending on, on food, let's say, they, these items, beans and... Uh, as, as I told you, when we looked at our budget, we had to put food or feeding as a priority. Mm. So we had to make sure that the quantity the children used to have still remains. Then we remove other things that we shall maybe work on them next year or as the situation improves. Okay. Like now, a program of rehabilitating buildings has been put at, at halt. Uh, thank you so much, Ivan. You've heard from Mr. Nabende. They had a meeting as all the head teachers in Entebbe. But also, I know we are all mourning. I mean, people are in mourning for the Queen who has passed on. We are in a very historical school where... I mean, it's about your queen, yes. It's about your queen, Queen Victoria, and uh, you can see the school has persevered. 110 years on, you still have a strong school. And uh, so I think uh, the head teacher should give... Uh, head, Mr. Nabende, do you have something to say about the queen who has passed on? Did, what, what do you recollect about her? Yeah, I would like to thank the queen for the good leadership because actually it is through the influence that we are here today. Otherwise, without them, I don't think if we would be having this institution. So I want to be grateful, thank the leadership of, of the monarchy for having brought up this idea of establishing the school for the community of Entebbe. Do they ever, does the UK High Commission ever do anything for the school? Do you have a relationship with them? Uh, we don't have, we used to have, uh, we used to have and we used to have exchange visits where teachers from here would go and visit in the UK and UK teachers also, would also come. But ever since the economic crisis came in, that arrangement stopped. But it, there is a hope. Yes, there is hope for... However, we continue receiving the old students of the school who are here in the late 60s and 70s. They always come here to visit us with some good gifts. So those are the, those are the opportunities where you can get extra money yes, in this economic hardship. Okay. Exactly. Thank you so much, Mr. Navend, and I hope... As viewers, if you have a child out there who you think can be brought to Lake Victoria Primary School, I'm not advertising, but I'm just telling you <laughs> that uh, this this you could consider it as an option. And uh, thank, oh, it. <laughs>
<laughs> he has said it, yeah. So I, I hope you've heard. Entebbe is a historical it's a historical place. So if you want the first, first I think, hospital, you want the first post office, the, the first police station, the, the first and the first of everything is in Entebbe. So you, you'll be really welcome in Entebbe. And thank you so much, Ivan. And uh, let's keep the spirit. And uh, we pray for the people of the UK and everyone else who's mourning the Queen. And uh, yeah, let's not be lost. Let's keep the faith. And yeah, we wish good luck to the new king, King Charles III. And... That's it for me this week. Well, thank you very much, uh, Joan. I am still here at Kadwick Namate Primary School in Entebbe Municipality, but of course, still expounding on the same concept. And uh, I want to talk to the head teacher of the school, that is uh, Mr. Robert Mwonge, to just make us understand how are they dealing with the rising prices on commodities vis-a-vis -vis the fees that is being paid by the parents for these learners here. Have they increased or not? Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, please. How are you dealing with um, raising prices on commodities vis-a-vis -vis the school fees? Have you increased your fees? Uh, this term, we have not increased our children's tuition for welfare. The reason being, even our parents don't have the money. Because most of my parents are the servicemen, that's the police and the army. So we are trying to look at the, the economy, the economic situation that they are going through. So because of them being also civil servants, we have not uh, increased, but we shall think of increasing next year. But then how are you dealing with it too? Because the maize flour has increased, the beans have in, uh, the, the, the price has increased. So how are you balancing the two? What are the adjustments are you doing? Now um, we had to reduce on the ratio for the children just to have something to make them survive. Yes. Uh, what we have been giving them in terms of ratio we have reduced uh, to make them just uh, survive, not to go hungry. If you just paint for us a picture, for, for example, maybe in a week your learners were having uh, beans and posho, maybe some rice. So this time you tell us maybe the rice has, for, has been foregone and so you are now sticking to only posho, but to go through this economic hard times and then after the situation normalizes, you can get back. Or oh, you have had to reduce on the size of the posho, the beans. Now, Yeah, for us as a school, our best food is posho and beans. We cannot go for other classes of food because they are quite expensive. So it is the posho that we reduced and the beans. So instead of giving a big ratio, we have decided to slice it to a smaller amount. But so that's when you can have double dealing. I, when I was in his form one, uh, senior one, let me say, even P7, P6, I used to be a very good double dealer because I wanted to eat a lot. So are you not having these challenges in as far as how you're reducing? And now children are disciplined at least. We have talked to them on assembly that while we are here, we need to survive as a family. So when one goes to have a lunch, has to think of another. So in most cases, they don't go for double. But in case we serve and food remains, we can go with those who have higher... Well, identity. a certain group of them who can have the second share. Uh, definitely. Like if yeah. I was here, I would be among them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yes. But the challenge is that also these children come from home when really what they have got at home in terms of food when it's not also enough. Yes. So sometimes they come here and they are really having high appetite yes. for, for, for food. But we, we, we try to provide what we can. Have you had any meeting with the parents to talk to them about these economic hardships and perhaps find solutions together? Yes, I invited parents and we have uh, on several occasions discussed uh, but we agreed that when it comes to next year we may have to revise the, the tuition for children's welfare. Uh, so what we are trying is to go through this uh, third term uh, which is a short period because we have moved a good fraction of uh, the period of the year. So this third time we want to go over it. Then next year we try to see how we can revise uh, the, the, the charges. How many learners do you have here? Uh, I have 522 learners. Uh, but for now, the reporting has been gradual. Uh, for now, I have 357 who have reported back, and they are co continuing to come back. 
do you anticipate that uh, price will come down any sooner so that you people can continue in a flat direction? Mm, yeah, there is hope because we have been buying 50 kilogram sack of posho at 170. Right now it has come to 150,000. So uh, there is hope that the prices might go down having had the first season. Yeah. And then are there maybe some other items that you've asked the students to bring? Maybe some schools have seen. Can you bring some beans, some, some posho, so that we solve the problem together? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, here, it's not easy to ask these children to bring such items because, uh, as I told you, most of my parents are police officers and I'm officers who are just also catered for in terms of beans and, uh, and posho. Well, I'm giving you 30 seconds to rally people so they have, to, they can have children here. Even the parents who have not yet sent their children back to school, they should bring them because it's 30 seconds. Uh, thank you so much. I just want to make a humble appeal uh, to all the parents of Chadwick Namate and even those who are not yet parents of Chadwick Namate. Uh, this is your new head teacher who has stayed here for only two years. Uh, definitely we have had a drastic change in the institution. I'm, I'm calling upon you, uh, come next year, bring more children to this school. I got 406 when I was coming here, now there are 520. Uh, I want the number to go to around 1,200. So I call upon you, this is your school, it is a historical school uh, that uh, imparts values in uh, your children bring your children to Namate come 2023. Okay, for time reasons, we'll leave it here, but thank you very much for making time, Mr. Robert Mwange, to speak to us. Thank you so much, and thank you for loving Chadwick Namate. Well, Robert Mwange is the head teacher here, and he's just been speaking to us, of course, about the reopening of um, third term vis-a-vis -vis the raising prices on commodities. How are they dealing with it? But this time, we want to go to the municipal council and speak to the education uh, District Education Officer, Madam Joyce Nalwega, to just make us understand what technical preparations have they done to see that schools reopen without having to extort, having to increase fees, having to notify, to notify parents, have engagements that uh, this is done fairly and uh, to the parents' appreciation. And let her talk to us. Thank you very much for joining us, Madam Joyce Nalwega. What exactly can you tell us as interventions you've done to see that schools reopen uh, despite the raising prices on commodities, the parents, the schools do not increase fees and uh, fail learners from getting back to school. Perhaps make parents fail to, to, to pay. Yeah, you look straight into the camera. Thank you. Good morning. Nalwega Joyce, the Municipal Education Officer in Tebe. We want to thank God that we have started term three well and all our schools in Entebbe Municipal Council have opened and learners are gradually returning. Every other day, the number of learners returning to schools is increasing across the board for both public schools and uh, the private institutions in the municipality. And the teachers have already returned because they were very well prepared and ready to start term three. Um, the Entebbe Municipal Council as a team is trying to address the many challenges that schools and the parents are going through, most especially on the outward cry on increasing of school tuition of fees that may disturb or affect many learners not returning in schools. Our strategies are mainly addressing schools' head teachers. Um, Wednesday of last week, we had the planning meeting with the head teachers of primary schools, and our areas of emphasis among many issues that were addressed in that meeting were on enabling, giving enabling conditions for all children to return to school. Um, trying to advise them to work with the school management committee, the PTA associations, the school feeding teams or committee to ensure successful school feeding of learners without sending away children. How they can address this is by making parents understand what the economy is about, 
making parents understand to make a commitment, pay fees or tuition in installments, and at the end of the day, the children are not chased out of school. We just need a common understanding between the parents because they are our biggest stakeholders. How are we going to manage this? We do not expect scenarios, we have emphasized and advised them, not to expect scenarios where school feeding will not be given because that is part of the biggest expenditure on the school budget. We do not expect where children will be given very little food or almost one bean or two beans of leek soup and very little portion because all these will in turn affect our learners. So our emphasis is bringing parents on the front page in the management of the schools. And when parents are part of this game, each one of us will be able to work towards this to, to, to see that they, 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 they sustain and support children while in school. So that's one area of emphasis for us and we want to call upon all schools to see that we work together, have all children in school, do not chase them away because our time is very limited. Having only two months to write the final examination of UNEB on the 7th, from the 7th to the 9th of November, when we expect our candidates to write their primary living examinations. You closed uh, school last time when uh, your teachers were divided from the science side and the arts side. How are you as a municipal council and you the, the DPO making sure that they have returned with the full force this time they must <laughs> teach the learners. They should not they should forget the other hat and perhaps leave the rest to government and then focus on supporting. Okay, by then we know when second term was closing, the teachers were divided, the science teachers and the arts teachers. So how have you made sure that this reopening makes them come back with full force and they have forgotten what happened and perhaps have full attention to the learners? Yes, thank you. The grievance between the arts and science has been addressed. His Excellency the President of Uganda and the Honorable Minister Mama Janet Kataka Museveni met the senior secondary school head teachers in Intale in Imbarara. They spent almost three, four, five days of the week. And there are issues that they discussed and agreed on to have all teachers return in school, settle down, wait on patiently. Ministry has pronounced that teachers will be given incremental salary gradually. Just government started off with one category of the science and the way the rest have been talked to have been advised, have been uh, consoled, actually they have been told to appreciate that uh, government could not take on everybody at once, but they had to first take on science and then the rest of the arts, including us, education officers, wait on, and including many other civil servants, including my town clerk and the rest of the category, wait on for the increment of salary. Hopefully this message is sinking in all our teachers to be patient and as well commitment of government to fulfill their pledge for increment of salary across the board. And then we shall have everybody happy and do the service willingly. Um, we have noticed that uh, some schools now ask for even uh, uh, heavy teachers, <laughs> fuel support. Have oh. you had any in No, really, I've not had schools ask for fuel support. I have emphasized working with parents. We are emphasizing school management committee. We are emphasizing having a budget for the school. And one of the items of the school budget is the head teacher's administration. This is not new, really. Schools have been facilitating head teachers in the management and administration line of vote on the school budget. So I think this is all embedded in there. I do not want to think it is new coming on board today that head teachers are given fuel on a day-to-day -day basis to manage their, their, their administration or to run the school. It is an item, it's a vote line, 
in a school budget. It's not new. We understand that uh, from this interview, are going to interview. So we understand that you are going to have an engagement between uh, parents, teachers at uh, Air Force uh, Secondary School. What do you expect from the meeting or what do you intend to submit as key and pertinent issues? Yes, we are engaging parents, speaking to them because we appreciate parents are our strong pillar. I have a meeting with Air Force Secondary School, general parents meeting, and then Ch uh, Chadwick Nama, uh, Shangsha Modo, the school is Shangsha Modo Primary School. Again, general parents meeting on the same day, one running in the morning and the other in the afternoon. And our areas of focus are the same as discussed. How parents support learners in school. Then the issue of EMIS, Education Management Information System, where all learners are required to be registered on our system. And parents are supposed to declare their children their true name, by their true name by their national ID and including the parents our guardians national identification number. So generally we, we address parents because we have said they are our strong pillars. Without those parents our schools cannot run well. When a term begins like this it's an obligation the schools organize general parents meeting to sit together, plan together and forge way forward together. And the education department is part of this. Well, thank you very much, uh, the district education officer, uh, Joyce Narubega, speaking to us there. But let, let's go in for a short commercial break. And when we return, it will be more of the discussions. Keep it here. Entebbe, the land of freshness, fresh breeze, fresh water, fresh weather, and fresh foods. Entebbe is not just the gateway to Uganda, but also fresh foods supplied from 81 Sese Islands in Lake Victoria. Fresh foods from the garden to Chitoro Market and straight to your home. Visit Chitoro Market in Entebbe, Uganda's first capital for all your fresh foods. First colonial capital, the home of recreation and the tourism. Meet its welcoming people and enjoy the fresh winds from Lake Victoria. We'll be back from that commercial break. I am still standing at Chadwick Namate Primary School in Entebbe Municipality, Wakiso District. On the day when we're still speaking matters reopening of third term vis-a-vis -vis the rising prices on commodities. Like we earlier said, some schools have had to increase their fees while others have maintained it. But we're asking for those that have maintained, what is keeping them maintained? Have they had to reduce on or edit the menu? Among other things that we discussed. But now, for a fees increment, I can say, it should be a matter that should be subjected to stakeholders' engagement. Can government have a proper structure of, or procedure of schools having to increase fees across the country this time, not only in Tebe here, but should, should it be that the school should provide reasons why there should be fees increment and reasons that parents can subscribe to? This time, uh, we are joined by the Honorary Member of Parliament, Michael Kakembo, to just also expound this. What should it be? How can Parliament, you know, engage? How can Parliament draw or legislate this matter so that we have proper uh, procedures of having fees increment? And thank you very much, Honorary Kakembo, for joining us. What's your take on this? Yeah, oh, procedure, uh, Mkulo Ivan, procedure, omuntu ya natandise somero, jaino kuhitamu. Mugana mkasera kano, the law is very silent. Etika wadiba lili silent, chua kitegeza, ntili kiliza, buli mtu okuja, neisa, nga voya isa. Mwye nsomero. Mwye nsonga, walo chibaita liberalization. Okukiriza, banna Uganda, okugenda neba investinga. Mwye nsomero. Na ye nse zaba labufu, zita chibaita control the economy. Ziba na economy jiba controlling. Kubange no sector education, ilimuwa kategu kamu, 
Nteri mwe dembe liyo ubuntu number one. Ntipuli mtuye na ina alieta ito ditu quality education. Government deporto kezo ya saini nga kuku. Kulaba ntipu na mwana Uganda afuna quality chi, quality education. Kato government wenu kufira yoye kontrole nge sekiteno. Siku jire kabole si mikono. Java super power. Bobe yisi nga weba agada. Government na ye inamu interest. Kwa nge inamu na masumero gayo. Inamu aga gautila government grant aided schools. Nga masumero ga madini, ga machachi, ga bantu. Nga government e jani nge yamba. Mkusa sula abasomesa. Na batali basomesa. Kulaba ntie kuwati zako. Tu yita government aided. Government grant aided schools. So government nga buyeke kamu sente yomu omu soro. Chiji kakata kwa ato kuyingi na mweko no meyo. Eji kontroli nge buru unji. Kulo buru unji we guanga lino. Na ete naba kuchikora. Eteka weli. Diyo soro ganti minister bali muwa okukanga vula. Nenga wena kugambi enti minister. Tali wede kukanga vula. Kubanga na hiyo muku banyazi. Chimi nyo kudila minister inama somero. No musindi kabele minister we somero. Nga inama somero ga private. No dia komisona, aina masomero gaga private, no musindi kagenda teke teke late guanga kubienji kiliza. Bava kumunu mungu bayo kukora. Ate ni matanika kuprotectinga interest za abwe. Ntibali mu ministry, nga siku wangti, nze ni misa wa education, nze kuyamba guanga ino kutede ze bienji kiliza. Aze kuraba, nti ayamba na ye business ye jarimu bongero kunyaga e guanga ino. So, awava obuzibu. Government, Tena kia inza kore la libura zesu ni jaina katinga tena teka. Tuina kwa o e teka, ilika anga vula na ukule jureti inga. Ngomutu kusaini inga. Nagama njagara okufuna laisinsi yesu somero. Watu kwa o terms and conditions. Za kanya na zo. Bwa kanya na zo government inge pitade munteka teka. Kite geza. Toja kumala kuongeza school fees. Na government maza jikolachi. Kujebu uzako. Tumazo kwe uzako baza de. Himbele fana gana buwetu. Mkasera kano itali mguanga. Chamaziga ilacha naku. Teri mguanga. Tenga feba kule mbeze. Chitekeza. We are not yet in charge. Tuna teka teka nunga kutasa wana Uganda na kula kulanya bianji giliza museno. The government. Ese ama somero gayo. Kagende lele. Ese uro kurietinga market. Uro kula katari. Kaba hiza wagenda masomero gawe. Ero kasa anga. Nga kuka gende lele. Traditional institution is also nezwa demu guanga lino. Ama somero gari amanyi. Government ino gia. Sanga unga gamanyi. Baga sude. Kagende lele. Ngabe kweka musente. Government aided. Tukenda kuweleza sente. Abana bonaba some. UPE. Kati omuntu wa uli nizamu na charu. Wa uli anti UPE. Government gamba na fagena some labu yelele. Tabu uza. Government sente mekaze uweleze some lelele. Buli mwaka. Kati wali ya wakatego. Government nejia udi sabana Uganda. Mugela some labu yelele. Nene jamu some labu yelele. Nene jamu some labu yelele. Nene sente. Elisa wela na mwana wawe. Mutamu emu. Nenge zuwa de somere damba, elina habana lukumi, elina habana lusamvu, niti edi mansa atambuli loku. Katichari tamu haba zade, piti e meeting zi. Okuwa mati fetuwe kubile ndu tuwebe elele mtu, tuina chakora. Government ya tulimba limba, nubu sente ya buwele za leti, atubu sente ya kaputono dada. Kakati, habu zada wakari ya echirunje li habana babwe, buwene wa sara wuku webe elele mtu. Elele mtu, 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 elele elele mtu, elele mtu, elele mtu, so government okujja wachino eno kusoka netumbula amasomero gayo Rwanda che yakora kagamo Rwanda che yakora yadira sente mpitirivu nese kama masomero ga government ebyenjikiza ne bitumbuka masomero ga government gali ga private gagenda ga sarampola pressure ne mu mbele liwonga masomero ga private ga best performer mu Uganda namba wa namba ule ne muva ne mulangira nyuti amasomero ga private ga manye nyo ga manye nyo no kusinga aga government kitegeza nti omuzadde agali ekirunja ja kudusa abana be abatwale iyo kati competition ne yitirira wo somero jogena nga bagamba twagala abana lukumi ne mulese 12 kakati alibongeza sente nga engeringa jota control measure nti katuongeze sente abazadde tubagobe Bogenda simaka, bogenda budo, okuyingira yoro talo wenyini, mbuni mbuni kubraibinga kwenyini. Katipo chiba gamba kati ya tuongeze senti, tuka atingafu tuteme. Awata sora kuzitu kako, baso uroku wanga tukeendeza kumujuzo. So government tuji gamba. E teke senti mumasomero gayo, traditional schools. Chukura anze ni mu parliament, yoro nadeo kufuro parliament, nama gambi. Senti government zeba deweza masomero gano, sema nji government aided schools. Aga chachi, aga mizikiti, aga achago. Ngate tega ziraba uga gama antono, tuziga mara. Sente hizo tuzijeyo, tuzize masomero gafe, agari traditional. Tusitweli nzikiza masomero agari traditional. Okere kumacha otuke kukulek vik primary school, nga yesingo koro burunji, na chiwogo yesingo koro burunji, chiwafu yesingo koro burunji, na mate yesingo koro burunji, oja kula wanga aga private, automatically. Gajakuwanga mo business, chiga tudemu, gajakusara na imi wendo. 
Noro kwa nga tineke tulina agafa ga government. Government ya gafa akoda. Atenge gase kagendele. Esoro kurietinga akatari. Kama somero gawe. Chedafude mkuza ya kuchiri. Chabulabe nyoku dilo mungu alimu business ya vye njigiriza. Ateno mungu waku managing ya vye njigiriza vye guanga. Yosumiru kwa nti biyabwerele. Katiye musubuzi. Ainane somero liye. Ayagara ama goba. Atego wade. Agena managing ya somero. I mean. Ama managing ya sekita education. Kukutomeza kwa kutomeza. Jibali mkuti defending interest za abwe. Bali mkuti tenkanya munyago. Eteka wedite wali koze sa. Sina ura yo. Minisa uyakira kumacha na kanga vula. Babodo of governor. Abama sumero. Waba direct. Abama sumero. Aba sera. Aba na Uganda. Teri no umu. Uroku banga. Na yari mumunyago guwe gumu. Tuena moro authority. Kwa tamu binga na uri mubi. So I will no kutandi kira. Kuchima la u. Appointing authority. I know kuro uoza. So critical kuchintu chino. Akisadi la magezi. Wange chenye ya chifunda kumutubu libijo. Nafe no wansinga butuba jukiza. Tituja kuwafe kuwa jukiza na kuwa kubira andulu. Kumanga. Enensi ya fe. Ati tujeta aga. Nabana wafe nabazu kwa gisange unga. Ansi nunji. Mkama abampe rumukisa. Well, that has been the Honorary Member of Parliament, Michael Kakembo, speaking to us about the legislation angle of this discussion. But of course, we continue to say that a lot needs to be done, especially when we see schools uh, increasing fees. Just from nowhere, you see fees increasing. Right now, you can get to know that the nursery, let me say, lower primary learners who pay fees more than even universities. But how can that be regulated here? For today, we want to hear for this conversation. I still remind you that go to Facebook, Twitter. The hashtag is in TV today. Just put your comment there. Go to YouTube, subscribe, share with your friends, and let us know what you think we should discuss next time when we get back on this platform. For time reasons, I want to leave you here. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your weekend. We continue to send condolences to the royal family for losing the queen. For time reasons, I'm out for now. Imagine if leadership and development was a uniting factor for people towards a certain achievement. When people set aside their political differences and affront a cause that will benefit everyone. What does Omutuwa Wansi see as development in it? Buza mea achegan. Tauni kilaka achegan. Who is the problem now? That is politics. Without a tuinacha akuria, nechata chiganda kubawo. Join us every Saturday from 9 to 10 a.m. as we discuss matters in Tebe, the first Uganda's colonial capital, and what it deserves.